Have you been diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome? Or maybe you're dealing with a lot of numbs and tingling and even some burning sensations in your hand? I'm Dr. Clayton, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the three areas your pain can be coming from and some simple ways to get relief. The first area we're gonna cover is your wrist. If you look up carpal tunnel online, it's gonna point to your wrist and say, this is the problem and this is causing all of your pain. Actually, I find it to be the other way around. That is probably the most uncommon area to be creating the pain unless you're someone that sits at a desk all day or likes to drive. So you have to make sure that when you're sitting and you're using your mouse, that your wrist is in a neutral position and it's not in a flexed, or I should, sorry, I should say extended position. Same thing when you drive, you don't want that wrist being like this for an extended period of time. That's gonna create a lot of inflammation on that flexor reconaculum, which is a fibrous tissue that goes across the carpal bones in your hand and it makes a tunnel underneath, hence carpal tunnel. Carpal being the bones, tunnel, it's going underneath that fibrous tissue. There's all kinds of arteries, nerves, and even tendons. So when you move your fingers, you can see how my forearm moves. Those tendons go underneath that fibrous tissue. And when it becomes inflamed from being in that position for too long, it's gonna compress that nerve, creating the numbness and tingling. So this is how you're gonna relieve that fibrous tissue. You're gonna start by taking your thumb and you're gonna uh, be on the outside of your palm and you're gonna push outwards. You're gonna do 15 of these. Just to your tolerance, make sure it just feels like a good massage. Then you're gonna take your fingertips, you're gonna come in the middle of your hand and pull towards your thumb. Again, you're gonna do it 15 times. Then, after that, you're actually gonna take your palm up towards the ceiling, hand on your fingertips, and you're gonna just let your forearm stretch. And you go back and forth 15 times. That's gonna allow the nerve the tendons, the arteries to all pass through that tunnel, relieving the symptoms and giving you relief. The second area we're gonna look at, which also happens to be the second most common area to be causing the numbness and tingling in your hand, is your shoulder. Yes, your shoulder. You actually have a pec muscle that creates a tunnel to allow the nerves to pass through to go down into the hand. When this muscle is tight, it compresses on the nerve, creating the numbness and tingling or even burning sensation. So in order to release that muscle, you're gonna take the opposite hand, go just on the outside of your pec here, and you're gonna reach behind you. You're gonna find some tender areas. Once you find those tender areas, hang out there, do a couple passes, and then move to the next area. Wherever is the most tender, I want you to go back to that area and spend about you know, 30 seconds reaching behind and going back and forth just like this. By releasing that muscle, you're going to allow that tunnel to be a little bigger, taking pressure off the nerve, giving yourself relief. The third and final area we're gonna look at, which I find to be one of the most common causes for numbness and tingling and the burning sensation in your hand is your neck. All of the nerves that go to your hand originate in your neck. So whether it's a disc herniation, tight muscles, or just inflammation in your neck compressing the nerve, that will send the signal down into the hand creating the discomfort. This is how you're gonna get relief. After I show you this amazing stretch, I'm gonna give you an exercise that hits all three areas at once. Let me show you first how you can relieve that neck though. You're gonna lean up against the wall, you're gonna have your belt line, the middle of your back and your head all touching the wall. If your chin is up like mine is, you're actually compressing that nerve and you might even get a little more numbness and tingling in the hand. It's very important that you keep your chin down. That actually is gonna open up that space where that nerves exit the spine, giving you relief. Now, if you already feel a really intense stretch here, just stay here. But if it's not that intense, progress yourself by doing this. You're gonna take your thumbs and reach straight up towards the ceiling and try to touch the wall behind you. As you do this, it's very important that you don't let yourself let your chin come up or arch your lower back. That's not gonna help you at all. That's gonna irritate you. So make sure that your lower back stays flat against the wall, your chin stays down, arms straight, and touch that wall behind you. You should feel a really good stretch. Now for the exercise that hits all three areas. For this exercise, you will need a circular band. You're gonna start by going back to that same position I just had you in, leaning up against the wall. So your belt line, the middle of your back, and your head all need to be touching by, and bringing your chin down. You're gonna take that circular band, you're gonna put your hands through it. It's very important that you do not do this with your wrist. You're gonna keep your wrist in a neutral position the entire time. If you do a bunch of this and you're having the pain come from here, you're gonna create more irritation. So once you're here, you're gonna bring your elbows out in front of you, drive your elbows in and push your wrist out. It's a very small movement, it is not this. Keep those elbows in 
and wrist out. Go back and forth 15 times, making sure your chin is staying down. That's gonna hit the back side of the shoulder so your pec doesn't have to do as much work. It's gonna elongate that neck, taking pressure off there, and get your wrist stronger so you don't keep going into this position. Give it a try. That is what I prescribe my patients and they have great success with it. If you have any questions for me about the numbness and tingling in your hand, drop a comment down below. I'd love to help you. Until next time, keep moving and enjoy the rest of your day.